One thing we learned at CES 2017 is that Atmos soundbars are going to be big this year. This is Onkyo's version, the SBT A500. This three-piece system is sleek, it's powerful, and it's also the most affordable Atmos soundbar we've seen so far. But as we found out in our review, not all Atmos soundbars are created equally. The first thing you'll notice is just how slim this bar is. In fact, it's the slimmest Atmos bar we've come across yet. Now that's great for saving space, but it also means the system doesn't have a ton of room when it comes to drivers, including the appointed height channels for Dolby Atmos and its counterpart DTSX sound mixes, which include an overhead dimension for a more enveloping soundstage. The system is a 3.1.2 system, which includes dual drivers for each of the front channels, left, right, and center, as well as just two small drivers for the overhead height channels. This is a serious step down from other Atmos soundbars we've seen, including Yamaha's YSP5600, which houses over 40 drivers. For that 0.1 bass channel, Onkyo includes this small sub here, which has an impressively powerful 6.5 inch downfiring driver at the bottom here. The outboard receiver hub that powers the system definitely channels Onkyo's home theater routes, and this thing is loaded to the gills with features, not only including DTSX and Atmos decoding, but all sorts of other things, including 4K HDR pass-through and a plethora of other options. You can count them one, two, three, four different HDMI inputs, all of which have HDCP 2.2 copyright protection. Then there's the ARC input, which allows for one connection to the TV, and you can control a lot of the features on the system with your TV remote. Then there's also an optical input if you'd like to go that way, and even an old school RCA analog input here. Along with Ethernet, there's also these Wi Fi antenna here, and that's because this thing is loaded as well with Wi Fi connections. You can use AirPlay, there's Chromecast connection, there's also DTS PlayFi for multi room connection, as well as Onkyo's own Fire Connect system there, and there's also Bluetooth connection. The bar is connected to the receiver hub with this proprietary cable. It's about 10 feet long, so it's easily connected to just about any setup you've got going, though we were surprised to find no HDMI or optical cable in the package. However, Onkyo does include this calibration mic to tailor the sound specifically for your room, as well as this pretty well-loaded remote, which is nice because for a soundbar, the A500 is pretty complicated to set up. Onkyo demystifies things a bit further by including a full on-screen menu, so you can dig very deep into the features and set things up quite granularly. As you can tell, the A500 is fully loaded when it comes to features, but unfortunately Onkyo skimps a bit where it matters most, the sound. The A500 is impressive when it comes to power, especially thanks to that subwoofer, which is able to create some serious force in action scenes and blends well with the bar itself up and down the frequency register. However, those expecting to be engulfed in a globe of sound will be pretty disappointed. Not only is the system devoid of any virtual surround, but the high channels never really take flight. Instead of bouncing sound from the ceiling, the best they really muster is creating a broader, higher wall of sound up front. In addition, while there's some decent detail in the upper mid-range, the system can get a little boxy in dialogue at times, and it's also pretty flat and relatively uninspired when it comes to music playback. As a traditional soundbar, there's no doubt that the A500 can impress in the big moments, and some of the subtler ones too, and it's miles above what your TV can do alone. However, those looking for an engaging Dolby Atmos or DTSX surround sound experience in a small package will need to look elsewhere.